Hey guys, it's Dutch here. Hope you're doing fine tonight. I just wanted to go over uh, an interesting mechanic from msf.gg as well as the Mantis tool, and that is the tier four uh, trends. So in Discord, if you're using the msf.gg bot and you've got your roster already updated on that, you can actually use a command that is the tilde or dash tier four space trend. And what that'll do is it'll look at your roster and it'll pick up and say, what are the highest percentage tier fours on the on your roster that you don't have the rest of the community has and it'll give you an image and it'll show a whole bunch of different things that are you know very high and very low and what what people are moving towards right now so like what are the most recent things that people have been upgrading a whole lot another thing you can do is just go to the msf.gg site and up here uh, there's a meta button see this meta button here click on that and there's tier 4 confidence and basically this is telling us of the people who have uploaded the rosters to msf.gg what percentage of them have done each tier 4 and so we're sorting by tier 4 here and that's so the the main one is the black belt passive is the most popular 97.7% of people who have a roster on msf.gg have upgraded the black belt passive that's how we read this right Phoenix passive is the next highest at 95.7. Symbio Spider-Man passive, 95%. Uh, Ultron's factory upgrade, which is the special that gives you the third Ultron bot, is 92%. And as we go down the list, you can see here, there's a lot of uh, legendary characters mostly with uh, their tier fours and whatnot. And then this one amuses me, kind of warms my heart a little bit. But the Iron Fist passive, which used to be amazing back in the day when defenders were not total garbage. Um, Everybody had it, right? You gotta have that because otherwise defenders don't work. You know, it's, it's an extra, like what, 10% chance of healing on turn. <laughs> so anyway, uh, cool thing that they added, you can actually hover over the icon and it'll actually tell you what the tier four does. So that's kind of neat too. So you can kind of look at that really easily or you can click on it. And it'll actually take you to that character's information. Um, but you can also sort this backwards. What's the least? least popular tier four in the entire uh game now this is kind of interesting i wouldn't have guessed this but it's acid spray from toad and uh, i don't know what it does it probably adds like 10 percent damage or something combat pistol on right Ry merc riot guard is 0.9 percent uh although none of these are zero percent so i think this is only only tier fours that people have upgraded that not nobody has right so there's no zeros here so i'm assuming that ones that nobody's upgraded because like uh like for the shield medic special that only adds 400 health to her healing ability isn't on here right and i would expect that to be a zero um so i think this is only showing ones that have positive upgrades like some people have done it but not everybody right and so we can sort this and kind of see our stuff, which is kind of neat, by excluding my tier 4 characters, right? So if I've already upgraded them, right, if I've already done, say, look at the first one here. So when I exclude, mine goes to 67.8%, right? That means that I've done everything that is above 67.8% already. So all these ones down here, all the way, I have to go all the way down to uh, the red guardian at number rank 47 so i've done the other 46 tier 4 upgrades already and that's the first one that i don't have and so that's kind of a neat tool to help you guide your roster management to figure out which tier fours you're missing which ones would be really useful to upgrade or at least which ones has the community upgraded in mass right so another thing to consider is that look at number two now I've held out and I haven't put any tier fours on my daredevil, but this one is 66% on daredevil's passive, which gives you a little bit more speed to defenders and all. I think it's like 5%, but this was probably upgraded a long time ago. So while it may not show up on the, or while it may show up here on the tier four confidence, which is the number of raw number of people that have upgraded it. If you look at tier four trend, it's probably not going to show up there because nobody's doing it anymore, obviously. Um, so the tier four trend up here is about who has done upgrades recently, right? So we're looking here and we see like Sinister's basic. People are probably getting a lot of tier fours and they're thinking, well, where am I going to use them? So Sinister's basic, Emma's basic, uh, Scream's passive isn't really a necessity. It gives you more uh, more healing per kill, but it's not that big of a deal. 5%, whatever. 
uh, Tentacle Slam, which is the basic on Doc Ock. That one shows up here. Now, if we ex turn off the exclusion, then we can see what are most people upgrading. And so the Phoenix event just happened. So, of course, I'm sure a lot of newer players are unlocking Phoenix for the first time and they're doing her passive. Uh, Doc Ock, you know, same kind of thing used recently here as well. Uh, Ghost, a Quantum Explosion. A lot of people probably are just getting around to using her in DD4 and stuff. And so they're probably upgrading her as well and needing that. Uh, I've already done a lot of these. So when I switch it to turn those off, I'm seeing like, okay, the passive on Black Widow I never did. A lot of people have done that recently. It's probably because a lot of people are taking her to DD4 and getting through global with her. And, you know, 5% speed on, on spawn could, could be helpful. Um, I never did the Carnage special because I just don't really use it that much. <laughs> but it's interesting because you're looking at the, the number. Uh, it's sorting by the n raw number of upgrades, um, not the percentage. So we can sort by either one, right? So we can sort by percentage. You can see Doom up here. A lot of people are upgrading Doom because they're just unlocking him. So four users have him, three have upgraded this ability. And that's how we read it. That's where the 75% comes from. So that's the total number of people that have done it, and that's just more of a uh, raw number. So it's kind of interesting to look through this and just see what pops up. Uh, I highly recommend you know you up, uh, upload your roster to msf.gg, go there, make an account, run the roster extractor, or use Mantis to screen grab all of your characters automatically and then upload it to msf.gg i made a video on this a couple of weeks ago it's a fantastic tool um, you can also use it with the groot roster organizer and uh, what's coming with gamora um, from zara tools like these are all really useful uh tools to have in your uh, arsenal to help you with your roster guidance and how you build but you have to be careful right Daredevil's passive is not useful. It's not useful. Just because a lot of people have done it doesn't mean it's important. Now he's supposedly getting a rework. I'm gonna wait and see what actually happens in that rework before I put any investment into you know old metas that are basically archaic at this point and useless. Um, but there are some good ones. Like I've been waiting to do Pyro Special, right? So I can go over here to my roster and I can go find my Pyro and I can say, uh, where are you buddy? Right there. I could say, you know what? Yeah, his special. If you look at this here, I have Mantis turned on. See these percentages? These are also derived from uh, from msf.gg. Look at this. Pyrotechnics right here. 52.4%, right? That's the same number here. It's importing it and it's overlaying it on top of my game so I can see that, as well as the ISO class percentage. Everybody's doing striker for him, right? Makes a lot of sense. You get the extra bleed from those attacks. A lot of sense. So pyrotechnics, I got 1835 of these tier fours. This will really help my brotherhood too on some of the attacks that they do. It'll make it more likely that they are successful because it applies bleed for two turns. It increases the bleed damage considerably because when you go from tier si or level six to level seven, it's increasing the bleed based damage of each turn and that is significant. So that's something I never done, right? And I should have done it a while ago, probably. I just didn't really care. So some other ones like the uh, Red Skull passive I could do as well. Um, there's there's a lot of good ones, right? But what this does is it helps me point myself in the right direction to look at like, okay, well, what have other people done, right? So look at Red Skull, 54% on his passive, 35 on his ult, 22 on his special, and only 7.8 on his basic. So a lot of people haven't even done his basic. But I'm going to guess that... 5% more speed for yourself and Hydra minions is important. Um, speed is the name of the game in a lot of cases. So that could be a good one. Uh, another one is the Mordo passive. And uh, a lot of people have the Yondu passive. I bet these are very old players who bought it a long time ago when it was game changing. Right? I never did Squirrel Girl's passive. Uh, I have seven reds on Squirrel Girl. And you know what? I probably should. Uh, I probably should upgrade her passive. So I can go find her. Uh, wherever she's hanging out. Um, I don't know. I must have missed her. But this just helps me in guiding my roster build process and figuring out what's best for it. So this is pretty awesome because it gives me, you know, fill speed bar by 20%, gain 10% drain, add another 10% drain for Young Avengers. I mean, that's pretty killer for Blitz purposes as well. So I might as well upgrade it. Let's do it. I got seven reds on her, might as well. But now that one's done, right? So 44% of users have done her passive. Only 2.8% have done her alt because alt does is add a little bit of damage and she's a support character, so it's really not that useful. Um, but this, this in tandem with msf.gg can help you figure out what's the best upgrade 
next for your roster. And if you got a lot of tier fours burning a hole in your pocket, this can be a great way to figure it out. And so I, I think this is a really cool tool. So if you have questions about it, you can ask me in the comments or DM me on Discord. There's also a community for msf.gg and Zara tools that can both help out uh, with any questions that you may have or if you run into any bugs. Uh, but if you do, let us know. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that are willing to help. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool thing. Everybody should check it out and give it a try. It's very easy to use. You just can go to msf.gg or you can install Mantis and run it on BlueStacks and it'll tell you all this information in real time. So very, very cool. It'll adjust as people update their rosters and uh, give us more information on what people are doing. It's very, very useful. So I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, let us know what you think.